Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today, again, the, the Nasdaq went crazy. On one trade, we got 19,000. Uh, before we do this, I want to mention uh, on the other channel today, uh, we mentioned a target three, and we pinpoint exactly where this uh, market going and is going to end uh, for uh, the long trend. And that's exactly what happened. And uh, we pinpoint exactly uh, after target three, profit taking institutional number for the afternoon. In the morning, target one and two hit it right on the spot. So if you go to the other channel where we go live, you can see we predict the market uh, constantly. Uh, we did on the NASDAQ today, uh, on the three minutes, we got uh, 19,000 uh, uh, on, uh, on the NASDAQ three minutes. Uh, on the NASDAQ uh, two minutes, we got 16,000. And you can see how the market was flat uh, from, from almost when we said it's going to finish for today at the morning session. And you can see when we said it's done from the morning session went all the way from 12 o'clock till three o'clock. So welcome to trading. Uh, on the NASDAQ, uh, we got uh, 5,000 on the one minute chart. And uh, on the ES10 range, which we have uh, covered the 10 range today on the other channel as well. And here it is. And um, on the other channel, when the auto trade took, uh, this chart took a short trade and I showed why we should not go short trade and we did not. And uh, then when the breakout happened, the auto trade took the long trade and then he, here it is, the payoff. On the ES7 range got 6,100. Uh, on the ES8 range got 6,500. Also the same story. On the YM two minutes got 6,200. On the YM three minutes, 8,700. This is a YM three minutes. On the YM five minutes got 7,000. On the nine range got 8,900. Yes. On the YM, four minutes got 8,420. On the CL, five range got 4,670. And on the YM, eight range got 3,000. And then the CL, six range, 3,600. And then on the a CL7 range 3200 they're all almost the same uh, the CL on the three minutes 6600 beautiful trade beautiful entry 4300 on the ticks for the tick slower uh, tick chart here it is 4350 uh, on the YM10 range excellent excellent uh, entry excellent exit uh, 4200 and uh, on the YM300 take, uh, it got 64.60. And then we got the YM on the 400 takes, 3,800. And 2,500 on the nine range. The ES6 range got 2,200. Finished around 10 o'clock, 10.11. And then uh, on the YM, one minute got 4,900. This was uh, the morning session. And the NASDAQ, the morning session, 4,000. And uh, the ES uh, finished around 12, 2,100. And the ES 200 takes uh, got 2,175. Uh, for the scalper, uh, also, they did very well. Uh, let me bring the scalpers. Uh, the scalper uh, today. Uh, this is the scalper ES on a two, 234 second. 
because we are dealing with the scalping and on the scalper on the 8 range it got 525 in the trade but it did not hit the target but it got 525 um, because on the 10 range it takes a lot, a lot of time to between each trade and you can see there is a big gap between every trade but it's safe if we notice took one trade two trade three trade four trades and they're all winning so on the higher range you cannot uh, take a lot of trade it does not take a lot of trades but it, uh, it gets there uh, on the nasdaq 232 second got 1700 and on the uh, those are the same charts we show every single day the same time frame the same instrument and uh, this one here the ES7 range uh, got 7,000 3,000 I apologize 3,000 uh, on the ES7 range uh, also for the um, the market analyzer there is five different automated trades uh, if the last entry signal from the last entry signal is 20 takes uh, the last entry signal on the nasdaq is 1216 takes based on one contract and then 18 takes on the ym because uh, the market dropped and then, then it come back and that's why you see low numbers on the es and the uh, uh, YM uh, on the uh, the M strategy uh, this is trading between the fibs and it is built for chop market as well uh, those they they trade between fibs and based on one contract and you can add one more contract in case if you uh, auto trade enter on a fib line it did go against you you can uh, take another trade from the second fib line and then the auto trade itself recalculate and exit immediately to get you out of trouble and uh, uh, they they're doing extremely well now between between the swing traders yeah uh, swing trading yes there is a huge number and between this one here is a little bit um, is on a thousand uh, plus minus every single day but never don't underestimate it because this one here uh, on the long run let's say uh, after one month you will see is competing with the uh, with the swing trading uh, results uh, so yes it is a slower process safer process but in the long run when you put parallel between the uh, i mean yes sometimes on the nasdaq you see as we see today you get nineteen thousand dollar on one trade i mean this is it's gonna take maybe a couple of weeks on uh, this kind of uh, trading but also it's a safer and it's a good start for amateur trader or a trader don't know what he's doing it will be safer for him to start from here to understand the concept of trading how to manage auto trades and then maybe he can switch to the swing trading so yes the swing trading can make a lot of money when uh, the market is trending but when the market is sideways or we have a chop day those they can uh, survive the chop market so you know and uh, also you have the institutional auto trade you have the reversal auto trade it depends what kind of person you are and you between you and yourself you know how much you know about the market nobody else knows how well you are or how experienced you are but between you and yourself you know how experienced you are uh, folks that's all what we have for you today we wish you a really pleasant evening Thank you very much and uh, we will see you tomorrow on the other channel live. Bye for now.